a woman will always come back begging highly remorseful highly regretful every time she tries to let go of a good man Y'all, <laughs> yours truly, Tia Mari, has finally admitted the fact that she messed up. And I knew that this day would come. I knew that Tia would one day look back and say, you know what? Everything that I was ever looking for, everything that I ever needed, wanted, and desired, I already had in my husband. But no, 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 no. Tia wanted to stand on business and pretend like she made the best choice of her life, right? I'm graduating. I'm happy. I'm exploring new horizons. And like I said, and I'm going to continue to say, Tia, if you are able to find you a good quality man that loves you, honors you, respects you, wants to make a quote unquote honest woman out of you, give you everything that every woman in this world desires. I don't care what they say. They can swear up and down that they love being in the streets. They love having a roster of men. They love being strong and independent, but it's all just a coping mechanism. And now you, Tia, can see it for yourself, that it was all lies. It was a facade. It was fronting and stunting and pretending. But yes, Tia, every woman wanted your spot. They wanted to be in the position that you had. And look at you now, saying the exact same things that I already knew that you would. See. A lot of women don't like me because I'm honest. I'm not just going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm not just going to make it seem like, you know what? You can do whatever you want to do as a woman. Nothing's going to come back to harm you or bite you later. No, live your best life. Even if that means leaving behind things that are good for you. Even if that means taking for granted your blessings, right? But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell you right now, you need to be more appreciative of good quality men and good quality women. Let's say that as well. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let me also throw in the fact that a lot of these women need to also be very grateful for good quality women around them that are going to tell them that honest, bitter truth sometimes. I would have never in a million years told Tia to leave her man. No good friend would tell her that. No good quality woman would tell her that. So ladies, if you have good quality women around you telling you the truth, even when you don't want to hear it. If you have good quality women around you telling you good quality advice, even if it does not stroke your ego, hold on tight to those women because they actually have your best interest at heart. They want the best for you. But the sisterhood of sadness, they love misery. They love company. So they're, they're going to always tell you, oh, yes, girl, leave him. You can do better than him, even though they can clearly see that you have the epitome of a good man. You have the embodiment of every good quality trait of a man, in a man, that they would love to have for themselves. But each and every time, if you're not careful and you're not surrounding yourself with women that actually care about you, that are not being selfish, 
that are not thinking about, you know, well, how would her being single, how would that benefit me? How would that make me feel better? See, if she's single, then I'm going to have more time to spend with her because really I'm lonely too. I can't find a good man and it's unfair of her to have one. So let me go ahead and encourage her to be just like me, miserable, because misery loves company. Y'all know. So be grateful and be very mindful of the women that are around you as well, because they can trick you out your spot as well and have y'all looking stupid. Tia is looking stupid like I knew she would. And again, y'all, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. If I have not told you to do that already, do it now, okay? Because your little bit, sis, right here, <laughs> I'm a little bit psychic. Mm -hmm. And I told you all early on that Tia would be highly regretful and highly remorseful about leaving behind her good man, especially when she went outside and came to realize um, not a lot of men out there really want to settle down like that. Not a lot of women are lucky enough to find a man that is ready and willing to get married, have a family, and all of that because of the climate, right? Even good women, let me say this before I get into this, and again, like the video. Even the good women out there, Tia, who have never had the privilege, the luxury, the honor of having a good quality husband or man like you had, even they are outside suffering. Even they are in the streets having a very difficult time getting selected. Why? Because again, the climate. A lot of women out here have screwed it up for even the good women. So what did you really think your chances were gonna be going outside after you're leaving behind the type of man that you swear up and down that you're in search for? Men are really gonna flee away from you because you look goofy. You look ungrateful. So why would I even entertain you at all? And you know what's ironic about all of that as far as even the good women having to suffer and struggle is the fact that Tia, it is women such as yourself that is causing even the good quality women to be passed up, to be looked over because so many men have it in their minds that all women are just like you. Let's get into it, you all. Let's hit play. Lonely, even though you have a tribe yeah, around you. Yeah, I do. So her friend is telling her, look, Tia, um, I understand what you're going through. You feel lonely even though you have a whole tribe of people around you. And you know what? That is something that the sisterhood of sadness will not tell you before you make a huge mistake. They're not going to tell you, hey, sis, if you decide to leave behind this good quality man, um, you're more than likely going to feel very lonely. You're going to feel very incomplete. You're going to feel like something is off, something is missing because it is. And it won't matter how much you go out partying. It won't matter how many girlfriends you have around you, you know, celebrating you you're gonna feel that void and it's not gonna go away. That void of feeling alone is not gonna go away. That void of needing a man that loves you, it, it, it cannot be replaced with a friend group. It just can't. It can't be replaced with dating apps, hookup. Mm -mm. Even hookups won't fill that void, sweetheart. But again, the sisterhood of sadness won't let you in on that little secret until you're already outside with them, in the cold with them. Then they'll tell you, well, yes, sis, the truth is we're all lonely. 
And yeah, we party every day and we hang out every day and we're constantly surrounded by other women, but they can't replace a good man. Does not matter how much money you have. Does not matter how many things you're able to buy to distract yourself and make yourself feel beautiful. It does not go away. Tia is realizing that in this very moment. Because every day, y'all, from what we can see, you know, as far as what she's displaying to us, Tia always has somebody around her. So it's not like she does not have friends that she can call, friends that she can lean on. They always show up for her. So why is it that she still feels alone? Could it be your female nature telling you that you need a good man? You need a husband. You need that stability and security, that love, that fulfillment from a man. I'm just saying, y'all. And see, y'all hate me because I'm going to be real with you about who you are as a woman. I'm not going to feed you fluff and fairy tales and tell you, oh, no, you're a strong, independent woman. You don't need no man. Here you roar. I'm not going to do that. I know the reality of what we face and what we deal with when the lights go off, when the cameras shut off. When you got to take off the makeup, take off the pretty clothes and glitz and glam. I know. When you're no longer drunk, high, whatever. I know what we go through. I know what we really feel. And I'm going to be honest with you about it. But let's continue. I'm sorry I went off on a tangent. Let's continue, y'all. I'm going to start it from the top. And again, y'all like the video. You feel lonely, even though you have a tribe yeah, around you. Yeah, I do. And, and I'm tired of feeling that way, to be honest with you. You can see the pain that she's going through. Um, and I've been there. After my relationship, I was single for nine years. And it was an emotional roller coaster. It's like a storm, you know, the storm passed. Oh my God. Tia just has to take her time and welcome the woes and the no's until she gets her yes. So that was a little bit much for me. So Tia's friend, and I'm going to assume that it's one of our closest friends and long-term friends, um, has dis disclosed the fact that she, you know, went through a breakup and she herself was single for nine years. Maybe she's still single because she's always around Tia. Okay. If you got a man, you ain't got time to be wiping your homegirl's tears every five seconds. And at least you shouldn't be. Okay. But again, this showcases to me and proves to me that Tia, unfortunately, has a lot of women around her reinforcing her counterproductive behavior, you know, hyping her up like, yeah, girl. Screw him. You don't need no man. Look at me. I'm by myself and I've been by myself for damn near a decade. And so if I can do it, you can do it too. And what did I say earlier? I said, misery loves company. The mere fact alone that Tia's friend has gone damn near a decade without having a man, a relationship, speaks volumes and i'm not talking about hooking up any woman can get somebody to pipe it down and wipe it down especially if you're an attractive woman like she is right but the mere fact alone that she herself has struggled in that department speaks volumes about maybe her mentality her lifestyle her personality Maybe she's the type of woman, and I'm just speculating, that feels like, oh, no, again, I'm the prize, so I deserve this top-tier guy, even if I don't qualify for him. And at the same time, he should be perfectly okay and fine with me being able to boss him around and everything of that sort. Like, Tia's friend group is very much so giving me the strong, independent, boss chick energy vibes. And it would not escape me, right, if they came to be found out to be the type of women that heavily influenced 
other women around them to partake in the same type of behaviors. Okay? Because again, anytime you see an attractive woman that has a lot of things going on for herself and things of that sort, and she's not able to land a good quality man, it's something off with her. All right? And I'm just being honest, okay? And I do not mean to be rude, but that's just my honest observation and opinion. So again, ladies, be very careful about the company that you're keeping. They could be keeping you single. They could be keeping you feeling lonely and miserable and unhappy because that's what they are. But let's continue. It could be depressing and, and heartbreaking, but there are a shortage in men, girl. Good men. Good men. <laughs> <laughs> they are here. There's a lot of them. But. I hate when this stuff happens because it makes me feel like I've made a mistake. A mistake of what? <laughs> of getting a divorce. Girl. <laughs> Whoopsie. Tia, did you finally admit that you're having doubts? You're second guessing your decision to leave a good man, the same type of good man that they just told you it was a shortage of, which is crap, you all. The issue is, you all, a lot of the good quality men are fleeing away from women like them. And again, they could be for a whole bunch of different reasons. Maybe uh, it's the way that she talks to men, treats men. Maybe it's her superficial, self-centered ways and actions. We don't know. That's up to these women to do their own self-analysis to, you know, figure out what is going on with them. But the bottom line is, you all, there are plenty of good men out there. It's just for whatever reason, a lot of the women out there overlook them Maybe because he's boring, maybe because, you know, he's not somebody that is out here being disrespectful, neglectful, cheating on them and all that sort of crap. You know, a lot of these chicks, they would hate to admit that they are secretly attracted to toxicity, right? Because something within them is toxic. And so they seek that in partners, but they don't want to go that deep and be that real. All right. But that's a level to the conversation. You know, a lot of the good men get overlooked because he's not toxic. And or it could be, you know, the good quality men just don't see value in them for whatever reason. OK, but there are good men out there. And I feel like in my heart of hearts, Tia is now realizing that she had one of the good ones already. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of women come to that realization like damn i already had a good man do you mean to tell me that i made a mistake as far as getting rid of the man that i was going to go outside and be in search for anyway like how does this compute why would I throw away something just to go back outside, digging through the trash, trying to retrieve it again? That, in my opinion, is what Tia is facing right now. That is what's dawning on Tia. I'm out here looking for what I already had. I had a good man. And now her friends are being a little bit, you know, shaky about that because, and I hate to put it like this, but this is my observation, because they were the ones who more than likely convinced her to leave. Now, I'm going to finish off this clip in a minute, but I have to drive this home. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. The reason why her friends do not want her to accept the fact that she messed up is because to admit that would mean to admit that they influenced her in the wrong way. And a lot of women don't want to be wrong in that capacity. A lot of women, they don't want to be exposed in that regard. Like, damn, I, I led her astray. You know, I was wrong. I was trying to be her girlfriend guru leading her to the promised land of strong independent island and now she's starting to you know have it dawn on her that i didn't really know what i was talking about 
You know what I mean? So I believe that is why in a second they're going to start trying to over talk Tia and, and, and rule her back in. Let's listen. Bye. And that Thing. is theory. Because you thought about that long and hard. I did. I did. Four years. If I it did. wasn't that one argument, you're out. Yeah. I don't want to be alone. Oh, but you are. But did y'all peep that? Did y'all see how her friends were like, oh, no, 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 no. You were the one who thought about this long and hard. You made the right decision for leaving your good man. You. And that is also a way to place the blame back on Tia just in case she starts to analyze, you know, the advice that was given to her. Because here's the thing about the sisterhood of sadness, y'all. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. They will poison you with bad advice to get you to be persuaded to act a certain way, to do a certain thing. But they'll do it in a way to where you feel like you did it on your own. It's a master manipulation. Look at Tia right now. She's really in her head. Like, uh, damn, I, I don't want to be alone. I'm alone. You know what I mean? Like, she really is thinking about what she did. But again, the sisterhood of sadness cannot allow you to go back to your good life because again that means that i'm missing out and that i'm miserable so since they were out here being master manipulators in regards to tia's relationship and her marriage i'm assuming they are now trying to convince her like no you are the one who thought long and hard about leaving. You are the one who made this great decision for yourself because they do not want her to, again, start to think too deeply and come to figure out y'all really played a major part in my decision. You know, y'all really were the ones to convince me to really leave. And so that's something that a lot of women have to be very mindful of and careful of when it comes to your friend groups. Pay attention to why they're telling you certain things. What type of advice are they giving to you? Because it could lead you to be in the same type of position that Tia is in to where you're highly regretful and remorseful. And like I said, y'all, I knew that this day would come. It just was a matter of when. OK, because I'm going to be honest, I'm going to tell the truth about women, what we go through, what we feel, what we think. I'm also going to be truthful about the other women's intentions and their motives. Come on, you all. And again, this is just my opinion. However, a lot of the stuff that I have been saying for a very long time now is coming to pass. So <laughs> I'm not steering you women wrong. I'm telling y'all what I see. I'm telling y'all what I know. Okay. And it's up to y'all to take heed to it or not. And I understand a lot of y'all don't like me. You don't like my delivery. You think that I'm male identified. You think that I'm a pick me and all this. I get it. I get it. I heard it all. But where did I lie? But let's continue. And let's take it back a little bit so we can hear Tia talk about how she's lonely now. And you are. But you and your friends did that. And I really want to emphasize to Tia and the Tias of the world that it's mainly, right, a lot of y'all's friend groups that are really helping you to cross that threshold, if you will, of leaving behind perfectly good men and marriages and relationships because they want you to go through life with them. They're lonely. They're depressed. What did the girl say? Let's just take it back. All right. Um, here we go. I don't want to be alone, you know. So when I'm going through these challenges, sometimes you want to go back. And if I'm being very honest, the, oh my God, I'm about to cry. <laughs> I can't 
the only person that I ever loved in my life was my ex. And just because you are no longer doesn't mean that there's no love there. He's still in my heart, you know? And just to think about someone else feels weird. That was a lot, but, and I know this is probably like really tacky for me to say, but again, Tia, I told you so. And here's the thing, it's going to get worse for you because if you're already feeling this, before you even know about him interacting with another woman and him getting romantically involved on a deeper level with somebody outside of you, yeah, that's going to intensify. You know, she said, oh, thinking about myself with another man, it just feels weird. Well, how do you think you're going to take it when you see him with somebody else? Just saying. And what was really eye-opening for me was the fact that Tia had to admit that not only does she still have love, deep love for her ex-husband, Corey, but she is now starting to really, in my opinion, admit that he's the only one that she ever really loved. And I'm going to go ahead and add on to that. She's probably also realizing that maybe he's the last man that will ever love her. Ladies, don't be like to you. Hold on tight to what you have. Don't listen to outsiders telling you what you should do and what they're doing and how glitz and glam it is on the outside in the streets. It's a lie. It's a misery calling for company. It's not real. It's a facade. And I know that Tia was ultimately tricked out of her spot because a lot of the sisterhood of sadness was prompting her to do so by telling her, oh girl, you didn't get a chance to date. You didn't get a chance to explore and experience different sausages. And so, yeah, ditch him, leave him behind. You've been there, done that. You're getting too old. You need to be able to explore different options before you get up out of here. And so she fell for it. And now she's realizing the best that I had and the best that I'm going to get is behind me now. And I'm sad about it. I'm lonely. I'm regretful. I need to really get on my soapbox and start begging for my husband back because, again, he was the best man out there for me. He was the, the guy that I was looking for all along. And ladies, y'all need to use Tia as a teachable moment of what not to do and to be a lot more appreciative and grateful for the good man that you do have. Is he the richest man in the world? Probably not. Is he the most romantic guy in the world? Probably not. Is he the type of guy that is going to splurge on you and do all this extra nonsense? Probably not. But is he honoring you? Is he taking good care of you? Is he respecting you? Is he loving you? Is he looking out for you? Is he protecting you? Y'all need to start paying attention to those qualities instead of all of this superficial, materialistic, surface level does not amount to anything in the end. Wake up before it's too late. Wake up before that same man that you're taking for granted is taken by another woman. Being appreciated by another woman. And Tia can pretend all she wants 
as far as saying, no, yeah, you're right. I did think long and hard about this. I did make the great decision to leave. She can fool her friends and maybe a few of y'all with that nonsense. But real game peepers, we see right through Tia. Tia wants her man back. He was a good man and she's highly regretful about it. And she knows that she messed up. Stop falling for the sisterhood tricks. Stop falling for the okie doke. Appreciate a good quality man while you have him. He could be the last man, the last good man that you'll ever get. Especially once you expose yourself. Tia also exposed herself for being a very ungrateful woman. So even if there are plenty of good men out there, how many of them are going to want to you after they have bear witness to what she did to her last man that was good to her? I'm sorry, her husband that was good to her, a good man to her. Oh, no, no, no. I can't trust you. You would follow a good husband. I don't stand a chance. So, yeah, be mindful. Be careful. Do not fumble and get humbled. Anyway, y'all, y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, and feedback about this down below. Um, let me know, have you been a part of a situation to where a woman took you for granted and ended up coming back to you? Ladies, have you been like Tia? All right? Y'all let me know. And hopefully you all can share your experiences with other people in the comment section so that you can you know, warn them or give them the proper advice to follow so that they don't end up lonely and sad and crying on sofas. I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown head.